There are mysteries on this world that we can't understand today. Why? No one knows why. Pyramids are set out the exact same way in China, Egypt, and Mexico. Why is that? What is the purpose of this? And who built them this way? There's little doubt that there is a massive ancient secret that the answers to have long been forgotten, but you can't hide the fact that in ancient times, something was going on on an epic scale across the whole globe. Is it really inconceivable for us to imagine a civilization on the good earth that was far more advanced than we are today? The signs are everywhere. It is obvious to us that the true history of the human race is either being suppressed from us or the greatest secrets are only being revealed very slowly. Is this a great awakening? If it is, then welcome to the show. Wait till you hear this. We are told, at least in the Western world anyway, that ancient buildings were completed using a hammer and chisel and achieved under forced labor. We're also told that pyramids at Giza and in Mexico were built to house the leaders of the ancient people. But get this, at Teotihuacan in Mexico, there is no evidence whatsoever to suggest they even had a leader or even a group of leaders. And at Giza in Egypt, they have never found any human remains in any of the sarcophaguses in any of the pyramids, leading to much debate about the sarcophaguses actually being built to house giant capacitors. Many also speculate that the Ark of the Covenant was a capacitor. That would fit. In the Bible, the Ark of the Covenant is spectacular. God instructed Moses on how to build this thing using gold and other electrical conductors. It could kill men who got near it and was even used on the battlefield. The carriers of the Ark would have short lives possibly due to radiation poisoning, and it had to be covered in specific layers to reduce radiation leakage. It is entirely possible the Ark housed some sort of power source, and it is also possible that there was more than one of these on the Earth. It is also entirely feasible that this type of technology was already on this world as human civilizations became more aware. It makes more sense that the ancient pyramids and other ancient structures across the globe were simply discovered by humans rather than built by humans. The stories in the Bible could be actually accounts of history, but because we do not understand the technology, it is either destroyed or wrongly used. What if at the Chinese pyramids, in particular the Great White Pyramid, there is still something preserved within that was long ravaged in Egypt? What if the Chinese pyramids still host the technologies that was once at work in every pyramid on the world? And at one point, this was part of a huge power grid that spanned the globe. Hence the fact that the ancient sites strongly resemble computer circuit boards. But why the alignment with the belt of Orion? There is no doubt that these ancient places hold the answers to our deepest questions. It seems they are screaming at us. We know we are looking at the truth when we suggest these theories, yet we are yet to properly connect the dots. It is staring right at us, and the answers will probably be obvious when we finally realize what it is. For now, we are left to ponder. Can you imagine if the planet Earth itself was actually the spaceship, and all the sites across the globe were part of the engine system? Maybe Orion was the last passage through space and time we took that led us to this solar system. Maybe we crashed into time at this is the planet that existed where the asteroid belt is today. The debris there is of Timat. The collision with Timat effectively stranded us out here in the perimeter. Is this the reason we are subconsciously looking for signs of life? Perhaps we came to the solar system to look for signs of life before we had to abandon the mission. We are constantly sweeping the cosmos for alien signals, and we are constantly mapping the sky. You have heard about the planet Nibiru as depicted by the ancient Sumerians. Perhaps the planet Nibiru was actually a rescue mission, but why were we left behind to defend the Earth? It is said that the moon was actually towed into Earth's orbit, and the Earth was given its tilt. Was this done to give us stability? Who knows, guys, and these are just a few thoughts. We would love to hear your thoughts, so please comment below. Thanks for watching.